And this afternoon, residents living near the CTS site faced off with EPA officials in a heated confrontation. As we reported Friday, recent vapor tests show high levels of TCE in the air near homes, and the EPA relocated those residents from three homes. Yeah. News 13's Mike Mason continues our live team coverage tonight. Mike, people living in the Hidden Valley subdivision are demanding answers. Yeah, and former state representative Charles Thomas is one of them. This afternoon, he hosted a community meeting with EPA officials in both local and state public health. They, the residents want to know why their homes were also tested for these toxic vapors. And Thomas's wife recently developed a rare form of breast cancer, and she suspects the contamination may be to blame. There's no guarantees for me right now that my cancer's not there. And here I am still living in it. <laughs> And Thomas wants the EPA to relocate families until testing is complete and the threat is eliminated. At around 3 this afternoon, officials met with families to discuss the situation and how they plan to continue testing. The meeting got a little bit heated as residents questioned why they were never told about the dangers of toxic vapors. They need to treat that just like it was a tanker spill. They need to have the same level of emergency response. If in doubt, they need to err on the side of safety. They need to move people away or whatever the protocol is, but they need to act. Doing nothing is not helping, and they've been doing nothing for a long time. I have potential health consequences due to the treatment that I had to receive to save my life then that I'm going to face in the years to come, and it's all because of, of this contamination and the EPA's lack of responsibility to clean anything up. And how is it damaging my children? We don't know. Do you understand why these people feel like the EPA has been dragging its feet and dragging itself? Yes, I do understand. And I, I wish it could go faster. And over the weekend, the recent vapor test prompted county officials to move a school bus stop that was next to the site over to an area within the Hidden Valley subdivision. EPA officials say they will soon begin conducting more air tests at homes surrounding the CTS site. But right now, they don't know which homes they'll test or when that testing will begin. And residents simply wanted to know why the EPA won't do an all-out cleanup of the contamination. And the EPA said it's not that simple. They want to give CTS a chance to do that and to foot the bill. But they said after a short time, they will step in. They just wouldn't commit to when they're going to do that. Of course, we'll let you know and keep you up to date on the latest developments here at the CTS site. Reporting in South Asheville, Mike Mason, News 13.